Hi, today I'm reviewing the Lipstick Queen Dating Game Lipstick. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchase. So Lipstick Queen frequently comes out with a new series, and the Dating Game is their newest series, which is a collection of pinks and red lipsticks, uh, which they call their Dating Game Lipstick. Uh, recently, they had come out with their Universe Queen lip gloss, and they had some metallics and their transformative lipsticks. Uh, but the Dating Game lipsticks are all pinks, and the one I purchased is Good Catch. Uh, which is one of their pinks, and I think pink lipstick is kind of making a comeback. I'm wearing it right now, and uh, when I saw this at the store, um, I thought, gosh, I don't have a lot of good, really good, just pink lipsticks. So I thought I'd purchase these. They sell for $24 each, and I definitely felt like, well, I don't have a lot of pink, so I'll purchase one of these. And the good catch color was uh, a nice, nice shade of pink that's kind of universal, so... Uh, let me kind of start with my review, uh, my 10 criteria. The first one is packaging, and I gave that a uh, thumbs up. It's nicely packaged. The lipstick shuts properly, so if you carry this in your purse, you're not going to have any issues of it opening up. Um, the second criteria is alcohol, and this contains isosterol alcohol, which is actually a good fatty alcohol. Uh, it's related to the seteral alcohol, so there's actually no issues there. It's a good alcohol, so I got a thumb up there. The next one is fragrance, and this has no fragrance in it. It doesn't have any taste at all, uh, which is a, definitely a good thing. Uh, yeah, even just wearing it doesn't have any taste. There's Sometimes if they don't have any fragrance in there, sometimes there's like an unpleasant or chemical taste. This has no taste at all, so that's a good thing in my opinion. And then the fourth criteria is uh, manufacturing location, and these are manufactured in Canada, so I've got a thumb up there. Uh, number six is ease of use, and it's pretty easy to apply. Uh, if you just want a little bit of color, you can just do one swipe. If you want to build it up, you can do a few swipes, and you get a little bit more of an opaque color, which is very beautiful. Uh, so it's very easy to use. Um, yeah. Uh, the number seven is antioxidants and pigmentation, and the pigmentation on here is good. Uh, it's pretty bright when you put a couple swipes on. And it doesn't contain any real antioxidants, but it contains a lot of good emollients and moisturizers, beeswax, um, there's carinuba wax, there's a lot of shea, shea moisturizing. Uh, so there's a lot of good waxes in here. There's not a lot of antioxidants, but the it's definitely very moisturizing. I wore it all day yesterday, and at the end of the day, my lips felt uh, hydrated, uh, soft. This uh, fades evenly, and it fades into a nice pink, and then once it's off, your lips just feel hydrated, which is nice. Um, then we come to number eight, which is, or number seven, which is animal testing, and unfortunately, Lipstick Queen does test on animals. I think it's because their products are sold in China, so... It uh, did not get a thumb up there. Uh, number nine is performance, and I gave it a thumb up there. It lasts uh, probably, yesterday it lasted probably four to six hours without a lot of fading. And then towards the end of the day, it just faded uh, very evenly, and my lips just felt hydrated at the end of the day. So performs very well. Uh, and if you use a primer, you'll probably get a little bit of longer wear. Not a ton, but a little bit. Um, number 10 is price, and it's $24. However, if you are in the States or have access to Ulta, they frequently send out coupons, so you can usually get a good deal on it, so that's worth checking out. Um, and then uh, number 10 is the It Factor, and I did not give it a thumb up for the It Factor. Uh, it's just a pink lipstick. There's nothing too exciting about it. With the, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just a solid pink lipstick. But if you have some pinks, somewhere from when pink was in a while ago uh this is nothing new that you have to have but if you don't have a lot of nice pinks this is worth checking out so i did not give it a thumb up for the it factor um so overall on my uh sarah score out of 10 this got an 8 out of 10 which is a solid score so it gets uh, two thumbs up so definitely worth checking out if you're in for some solid pinks or a nice red um, so anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not, and if so, uh, how did you like it? So 
leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, this is Sarah from No BS Beauty, and I'm proud to offer you one of my first products. And it is a stainless steel makeup palette. And I've been using ones like these for quite a while, and it makes it a lot easier to mix kind of custom foundation shades, custom serums, uh, custom lip colors. Um, it just, you need something like this in your uh, makeup routine to make things a lot easier. And uh, all the profits from it will go to help the channel, which I'm independent and I purchase all the products with my own money. Um, so definitely all of the profits will go so I can continue to bring you good reviews. Um, but you know, things I like to use are Retinol. Retinol is definitely a good thing to use, um, but sometimes some of them can be a little too strong. So sometimes I like to mix them with other serums. So I'll use this to kind of custom make my uh, retinol at night. So it's a little bit less irritating when you mix it in with something else. Or another thing you can do is mix in a vitamin C. Uh, some of these can be a little oily or greasy so sometimes it's nice to be able to mix it in with another uh, serum so I like to use the Clinique one and I'll mix this in just a little bit because otherwise sometimes it can be a little too oily and I'll mix it in and in the morning I'll apply it all over my face before sunscreen um, and another good vitamin C serum I like is the Derma Doctor one but um, sometimes using the dropper with that can be a little messy so sometimes I just like to mix just a little bit in with another serum. I love the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Serum, definitely a holy grail of mine. And I like to mix that in with it as well. Or sometimes before I go to bed, uh, if I've got something else going on the next day, I like to mix in a little bit of tanner, self-tanner, but sometimes if you use, use it alone, it can get a little too orange or a little too dark. So sometimes mixing that in with another serum makes it um, definitely a lot better and a lot more moisturizing for your skin as well. So um, definitely something to, you can use in your uh, serums or your kind of custom make your own uh, skincare routine by using that and mixing up all these products. So uh, definitely something worth considering there. And I also like to use it to mix in some of my custom foundations. So uh, let me show you that too. Uh, another thing I've been using this palette for is mixing and kind of customizing my own foundation. Uh, kind of you can almost create a specific color if you have certain foundations that don't mesh well with your uh, skin tone or even your skin texture. You can almost create your own custom foundation. Um, one foundation I love is the Bare Minim Minerals Bare Pro. Uh, however, sometimes I can find it to be a little too drying and almost kind of giving you more of a matte finish. So sometimes I'll mix in a little bit of the Josie Mara and Argan Moonstone drops with it uh, and then use it. And it kind of helps kind of lessen the color and kind of give it a little bit more of a glowy look. Um, another thing I like to use is mixing in sometimes with uh, oil with a foundation. And sometimes it gives you more of a uh, dewy look. So sometimes I'll mix that in with the Dr. Jart. And it helps give you a little bit more of a glow to it. So sometimes mix in just a little bit in. Um, and you definitely want to be careful with what you're mixing just to make sure that the ingredients are compatible because certain types of foundations don't work well with certain types of other ingredients. But uh, something to consider, definitely. But you can almost create your own custom look. I love this. Um, but sometimes I feel like I need a little bit of a glow to it. So I'll mix in some of my NYX Born to Glow Illuminator with it. Um, so you can definitely do that. Uh, also, Cover FX makes a great, uh, they're custom cover drops. But you can use these to alter the color of any foundation. So this is great to mix that with. Um, just give it a couple drops there. And then mix that in with another foundation to make it either lighter or darker. Um, the Ordinary Serum Foundation is great, but I found it difficult to get the exact color. So sometimes mixing the other colors works well. Um, Cover FX also has these new glitter drops, so sometimes it's nice to be able to use this to mix in with either a foundation or just to put it on this. And then you can use a, a brush to either dip it in and apply it as eyeshadow or dip it in and apply it onto lips as kind of a 
lipstick cover so there's definitely some great options and uh, definitely love some of cover fx's custom enhancer drops but you can use this to mix it in with almost any different type of foundation and add a little bit of color here and there um, but definitely using this and if you use a sponge or a beauty blender you can get that damp and then just use this to dip it in and apply it it makes it a heck of a lot easier than uh than trying to do it in your hand or I don't know where else you would even maybe the lid of another product but this definitely makes all of that a heck of a lot easier so it's definitely something worth picking up and all of the profits from the sales of this palette will go to support my independent reviews uh, I purchase all the products with myself just so I can give you an honest opinion as opposed to somebody that gets the products for free to review um, I personally like to purchase them so I can give you my completely objective review without having to feel like I owe a company anything because they gave me something free. So um, all the profits will go to help support those reviews.